guys finally sleeps here. Since FIFA Mobile was rivaling the excitement level of Jamaican curling tryouts, I've been searching for something to post that's worthwhile and not just rehashing boring junk or pointless play reviews. Until a market shifts or a new event pops up, there's not much to offer by way of FIFA Mobile. But with the return of the Premier League and a few people suggesting I post Liverpool match highlights and game breakdowns this past season, I thought, what the hell. The uh, problem with the Premier League is if you use any of the game footage, uh, the man kind of loses his shit, which is where FIFA Mobile comes back in. Synergy, if you will. So, if this goes well and it's entertaining enough that the response dictates I continue, I'll keep this up with the Chelsea-Liverpool Super Cup match. Uh, it's probably going to be close um, by the time this video actually goes public. It's up to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, as well as check out FinallySleeps.com where I post about all kinds of stuff, uh, but mostly FIFA Mobile. Don't miss the chance to join our Fantasy Premier League giveaway. Um, it's at FinallySleeps.com uh, there too. Okay, enough of the promo bullshit. Let's get back to the brass tacks. On August 9th, Liverpool kicked off the Premier League season against Norwich City. Uh, the Canaries, which, you know, who, by the way, always bring me back to a traumatic experience I had in the fourth grade when I came to school with a massive head cold and a green and yellow rugby jersey and was subject to eight hours of snot boy taunts, but that's neither here nor there. The first big thing we noticed at the beginning of the game is that the virtual assistant referee is officially on the job. VAR is here, like it or not. Now, personally, I'm down with it. I like the idea of a second opinion, whether it's something that's itching that shouldn't be, or a close offside call. Another change this season is you can now build out of the back on a goal kick with a pass connecting with its recipient within the confines of the goal box. It's a small change, uh, but it's still worth noting. Here's Liverpool's starting lineup. See, FIFA Mobile is still good for something. Notice that Origi is out at left wing instead of Mane, since uh, he returned late from the Africa Cup of Nations. I'm good with that, too. I'm a fan of Origi's. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Also, Firmino is back in the center. I'm hoping for good things this season from Bobby. Nothing better than, you know, a nice big toothy smile after a goal. Seriously, it's like a mouth full of chiclets. Uh, in the back, Gomez is in center with Van Dyke. I'm not a big Gomez fan. It's not that I dislike him, i just rather see Matip there. Sure, not only is it fun just saying Matip, uh, but Matip is big. Matip is huge. When you see Matip, you just know it's going to be hard making your way into the box. Okay, anyway. Uh, midfield saw Fabino returning to play as well as Captain Jordan Henderson, who right before the match was seen touching the this is Anfield sign while heading down the tunnel. It's a long standard condition uh, for the Reds that Klopp put a hold on recently until the team was able to win a major trophy. After bringing home Champions League, the sign is now allowed to be touched as a symbol of respect. I mean, it's not like they're smacking it for good luck. Okay, to the match. Fireworks came quickly in the sixth minute when Origi sent a cross into the box looking for Firmino on the outside of the six yard line, uh, but the Canaries shit the bed with an own goal courtesy of Hanley. Reds lead one to zero, six minutes in. Thanks to this little reenactment, at the 18 minute mark, Mo Salah scores from the right side of the box thanks to a small touch from Firmino. It was a simple and easy goal. Questions about Salah being offside were quickly discounted when watching the replay, too. Liverpool went up 2-0. 27 minutes in, a corner earned. Mo sends a ball in directly to the substantial forehead of Virgil van Dijk, racking up his first goal of the season and making it look easy for the Reds. Liverpool now up 3-0 as Norwich settled in for a long, long thrashing. Eight minutes later, disaster struck, though. Allison Becker goes down uh, while taking a goal kick and slipping during the process. Now, my stomach did a few flips watching that stretcher get carried out onto the field. 
Becker, however, walked past it with his arm on the trainer. It sucked watching him go down the tunnel, but it did give West Ham free release Adrian his first opportunity after his signing just four days before the match. With Simone Mignolet gone, Adrian is the new backup. Now, in all seriousness, I was kind of excited to see the Spaniard take the field. I've always liked Adrian and wanted to see just how he could handle the pressure of being on the home side at Anfield. And, I mean, face it, you get signed four days later, you're taking the pitch. It's got to be equal parts exciting and gut-wrenching as a keeper. Now, an update on Allison's injury has him out for a while. Realistically, he's looking at six to eight weeks watching from the stands, which is plenty of time for his replacement to shine between the sticks. Now, within a minute after the restart, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold sent a massive cross into the box from about 35 yards out. Origi headed it in, making it 4 nothing at the half. The second half started with a piece of absolute magic after Henderson laid himself out taking a rocket shot that smacked the crossbar. Salah ended up with a ball and played a cheeky little heel flick behind Alexander Arnold who sent a shotgun blast across the goal mouth to Firmino, but the pace on the ball was just too much for him to handle and he fumbled and the shot went wide. A couple more shots came throughout the second half uh, from Henderson and Salah, but nothing too exciting, especially compared to the onslaught that colored the first 45 minutes of this match. 20 minutes into the second half, Norwich did inject a bit of life back into the match uh, when Timu Puki sent a shot past Adrian into the lower left corner. It was a fantastic finesse shot, you have to give him credit. Uh, it saw the substitute keeper dropping quickly, but not able to get enough of a touch on the ball to direct it wide. Timu Puki. And it kind of sounds more like an anime character than a finish forward, but he gets credit for the great goal. At the 74 minute mark, Divic Origi made way for Sadio Mane. Uh, giving him 15 minutes for LFC in the season opener. Unfortunately, he didn't really bring much to the table beyond his speed. 86 minutes in, uh, Roberto Firmino made way for my favorite utility player, James Milner, so he could see out the 90 with more of a defensive stand up front. That was where it ended, 4-1. to one. Liverpool uh, over Norwich, which is a great result for opening weekend, but not a great end to a for nothing first half. Mo Salah was my obvious man of the match. Um, I was unimpressed with the contributions of Fabino and Wijnaldum. Henderson, however, did very well heading the squad on the field. He displayed that captain persona that we previously expected out of Gerard. In the back, Gomez was present, but not imposing. Uh, Robertson and Alexander-Arnold were involved offensively, but def defensively, uh, the Canaries never really put up much of a fight. In the goal, Adrian performed admirably, even with the concession of Pukki's goal. I mean, we're going to see in the coming weeks how intelligent a signing he was, but my gut says it was an exciting decision. I feel much more confident with him back there than I would have with either Karius and his uh, concussion-laden performances or Minule. All in all, it was a good start to the season. That's it. If this is something that you'd like to see more of, let me know. Otherwise, consider it a distraction from FIFA Mobile as we wait for a bit more excitement from the current snooze fest called Retro Stars. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Check out FinalSleeps.com. And as always, as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links.